We bought a 2008 29 foot prowler travel trailer. It was a bit of a fixed wrapper, but the price was right. So the crack here on the top was just the tip of the iceberg, so to speak. This is towards the front of the camper in the bedroom, and as you can see, the crack allowed water to leak into the camper and rot out the entire front floor. You can see the water damage there on the carpet. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be wearing that mask. For real. And all this wood can be cut out and replaced. Yeah. The carpet, we'll get rid of that. Replace it with laminate or something. So that'll be problem solved. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'll throw it here. I'll stop and wet. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish getting the cabinet out. Yep. In the next phase. It's free. Yep. Uh, I'm just going to need your help and we'll get it out of here. Okay. With enough push and pull, we finally got all the furniture out of the bedroom. Now it was on to rip out the floor and the wet insulation. All the rotten boards cut out, all the uh, waterlogged insulation out. It's got a little bit of uh, waterlogged on that board right there. And then uh, over here, it's got a little bit of uh, waterlogged still. I still got some more plywood to chip out of here. Everywhere else looks pretty good. We're gonna go and uh, chip out the wood in between the wall and the aluminum bar. So it's like this, so the board will uh, then slide in here. So all this stuff has to get chopped out of there. And then we'll cut a board, slice it in, chop it down, mount it. And that'll be done. Then uh, insulation before that, obviously, new insulation. But we're gonna wait for that to dry. So I'm gonna shop back it out and then uh, let it dry for a couple of days. Let all the wood dry. Put new boards in. I already got the uh, top cap, which is the cause of it, up there. You can see the temporary duct tape just for now, for the next couple days. So at least if, if it does rain, it won't leak into it. And uh, cover those cracks, paint it, and it'll be done. Okay, so what we got going on here is yesterday we took and we added uh, a lot more uh, supports here. Doubled up our, front, uh, our uh, floor joists here. Put a couple of uh, sister joints in there. Got this in here. We're kind of going through right now. We're gonna clean up the, all the edge all around, and then we're having an issue from where it started to sag down on the on the wet plywood in the far in the far corner right in here, all the way right here. It won't allow the three quarter inch. It's sagged down on the wet wood. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to have to cut some some dead men to sit up in here in the uh, door jam. Put a dead dead man up in here, up on the solid frame, because it's aluminum framed wall. Then we're going to go down to the floor and use the jack and the weight of the camper to kind of lift the lift the wall back up enough to slide the board under these under the wall edge. That way we'll get it true. And then we're going to come underneath it after that, and we're going to peel the skirt back um, carefully, obviously, and then come up with lag bolts, go all the way up through the new wood, up through the wall, and everything. So that way it's completely sealed up and perfect again. All new insulation down before that, obviously, which we have ready to go. And then, yeah, and then uh, put some carpet down. Put the bed frame back in. 
take a nap. The new insulation is being installed. We were finally ready to put the new subfloor down. Here's the linoleum we put in the baggage area. Getting the carpet pad cut down to size and finally getting that installed. And at last, the new carpet. Okay, I may have went a little overboard on the staples, but it was exciting to get the last part of the flooring finished. Reinstalling the bed was harder than you would think, but we finally got it all back together. We found another soft spot, so we moved the tools from the front room to this spot here in the rear. But we got that finished pretty quick. You could already notice our confidence was growing. This camper overhaul wasn't as bad as we were starting to believe. Solid. After adding some baseboards, we were finally finished with the inside. Now to turn our attention to the outside. My boss here in the video with me has been really helpful in keeping us in the right direction, giving us the tips and the tricks that we need to know. He has really gone above and beyond for us. If I cut it out in a square, I can just slide it back in. Right. We need like five more poles. Okay. I still think we probably should just drop some carriage bolts here. It felt really good to sit back and see that everything is finally coming back together. Yeah, Crazy that that streak caused an entire floor to rot out. We were finally turning our attention to the culprit of all the rot. We had to cut the fiberglass cloth. We decided to do four coats. Putting the hardener in the resin, we were finally ready to go. Okay. So we're fiberglassing the cracks in the top cap. This is just the first layer. I do. I got three going on now, and then I have some more to go on. While the fiberglass hardened, we turned our attention to the water heater. Your water heater. Since we had to pull the water heater out to get the side skirt off the side of the camper, we decided to take it in my work and do a full pressure test of it. Here we are doing the reinstall. There's the tacky tape. I am prepping this currently, getting all that stuff off, get, so we can get a good, tight, sealed surface. We've got the tacky tape applied. The water heater passed the pressure test with flying colors. So we prepped the surface, got the new tacky tape, and here we are installing it. It was time to get the roof resealed with all new laps on it. Of course, putting a motorized driving toy in front of me, I gotta play around a little bit.
So after about a month, all the projects were finally finished. So it was finally time to move in and relax. Uh, so Mike's gonna tell you how to replace a water damage floor and fiberglass repair on a camper.